What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. And today I'm talking about the upcoming nerf to Ella that we should be receiving with the Void Edge update. Now, of course, I play on console on PS4, so I have not got to experience this firsthand. But I do like to keep up with the patch notes in the test server. And it looks like they're going to be making some changes to Ella once Void Edge is released. Uh, back not long ago, we did get a buff for Ella, which reduced the recoil to her first 16 bullets out of her weapon, which is a good thing because the Scorpion has some crazy recoil. If you just hold down the trigger, you're going to be shooting the ceiling before the bullet, uh, before the gun runs out of bullets. It's absolutely crazy. But now they're going to change that first 16 bullets to the first 11 bullets have reduced recoil, but they're also going to increase the resettle time after burst firing, a faster uptime to increase vertical recoil, and a slight increase to recoil and spread. So it looks like Ella's going to get a pretty substantial nerf in my opinion because the way I look at it is that either you're good with Ella or you're not. Uh, her gun has lots of recoil, but if you are good with Ella, you can burn some people up very quickly because of that fast fire rate. But if you're kind of like me and you're just decent with her or not really good with her at all, the recoil just kind of deters you from using her to begin with. And I think with these changes, it's going to deter a lot more people from using her because it's going to make the gun have more recoil, have more vertical recoil, have more spread. And I feel like it's just kind of odd to me that they buffed her and now they're just nerfing her this quickly. I understand they want to keep operators kind of balanced out. And I still think she'll be a decent pick because of her device. Of course, it's going to be able to flash anyone that comes into the area that you have those three devices kind of put in. And of course, you may not necessarily have to get the kill. A teammate could get the kill. But I always, when using Ella, I always kind of feel almost at a disadvantage because of the recoil. I feel kind of uncomfortable, I guess. I like to pick operators that I can kind of know, understand, and you know, know that I can control the recoil and win a gunfight if I've outplayed someone. And with Ella, sometimes, like I said, I just feel uncomfortable. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Do you think these changes will really kind of decrease the pick rate? I know when they buffed Ella, they said they were trying to increase the pick rate slightly, but with the buff, they said it just kind of made her pick rate go way up and they weren't looking for that. So do you think this is going to hurt Ella's pick rate in ranked, uh, you know, competitive, unranked, that kind of thing? I, I think it will to a point. I still think she's good. she is good enough or her devices are good enough to make her a pick. But as I said to begin with, I think you're going to have to be someone that is really good with her weapon and can definitely control the recoil enough to get some kills on console. She kind of just feels hard to use for a lot of, uh, for me. And I think for a lot of people as well, because of that recoil. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner. So you know when all my videos go live and of course share the video. If you have a chance, it does help out the channel a lot and be sure to check out GT racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.